It's only just been released, but To the Bone has already caused controversy for scenes like this one. It's like you have calorie Asperger's. Some say it walks a fine line, at times glamorizing anorexia, and counting calories when you're speaking about eating disorders is a problem. The negative buzz around the film was enough for this Toronto support centre to organize a screening, a safe place to watch. But for some, parts of the film were just too painful, triggering complicated emotions. Just, you know, going in my head saying, I would kill to look like that, I would die to look like that. It makes me feel like there's something wrong with me. Kira McCarthy made sure she brought a device to distract her as she watches for a second time. I do think that it was a portrayal of another emaciated white girl. I thought that um, all but one of the young women and one man in treatment were also all white and thin and experiencing the same symptoms. That one-size-fits-all portrayal of a complicated illness also irks the head of the centre, but ultimately she applauds the film for simply no, existing. Like, we want to really actively listen to the message and help people to understand that eating disorders are the number one cause of death amongst all mental illnesses, that we know that across Canada up to a million people struggle with eating disorders. Concerns with the movie's trailer prompted an online petition calling on Netflix to pull the film. The streaming service has included this trigger warning at the beginning of the movie, something it initially failed to do with some of the episodes of another controversial series, 13 Reasons Why, which deals with teen suicide. To the Bone star has herself struggled with eating disorders, as has the writer and director. Marty Knoxon addressed the controversy around her film head-on with this tweet, which reads, in part, I hope that by casting a little light into the darkness of this disease, we can achieve greater understanding and guide people to help if they need it. Back at the centre, Rogers is proud she forced herself to watch to the bone, but she has a warning for others. If you're really, really active in your eating disorder, don't watch this. Don't watch it and don't watch it alone. And make a plan for how it could make you feel in the days to follow. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Toronto.